Hi everybody, I'm Sophie Heath, the Director of the Museum of Royal Worcester and on a day that we would normally be open to the public but we're closed because of lockdown I thought I'd welcome you to an autumnal corner of the museum. We're enjoying the last of the autumn colours on the trees, perhaps some hedgerow fruit if we're out walking. So it seemed like um, a good day uh, to uh, show you and celebrate uh, some of Royal Worcester's painted fruit, um, which you can see behind me, a type of ware that the factory was very famous for. Um, this large platter uh, dates from 1880, which is really the beginning of this style. Um, and it carries on into the 20th century with many famous uh, artists and fruit painters in uh, the early 20th century. So I'll turn the camera around so that I can share with you the full glory um, of this display. And these incredible depictions were built up by using layers and layers of colour. So each of the layers has a degree of transparency. Um, so by building it up and firing it each time, so each of these pieces goes through many firings, you can create this incredible depth and texture in these pieces. And if I show you... You can see some of the colours there, uh, but these pieces where the layers aren't fully completed and also that rich and heavy gilding hasn't yet been applied, you can see that it doesn't yet have the full impact that this does uh, where that work has been done and it just feels like you could reach in and pick one of those grapes. And of course, Worcestershire is an orchard county um, producing, you know, a bounty of... Uh, pears, plums and apples. Uh, so this uh, style has got uh, you know, a real identification with Worcestershire as a place. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed sharing in the Museum of Royal Worcester's Autumn Feast uh, and we look forward to seeing you in person and on digital soon. Thank you.